Hey everybody, welcome back to the best programming channel on YouTube. But really, we're going to be talking about tuples in Python today. Why to use them, when to use them, and what they are. So let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code and get into the programming part. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document in code. I'm going to hit Command, uh, Command N. Yep. And I'm going to save this document on my desktop. And I'm just going to name this tuples.py. All right. So now that we got our code file made, we're going to go ahead and get into tuples. So tuples is a sequence of immutable Python objects. So in the last video, uh, lists, Python lists, we talk about how a list is a sequence of mutable uh, objects. So now we're talking about immutable. Now there's a couple of things different about tuples over lists, things like a list is made with square brackets and a tuple is made with parentheses. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and create a variable for you real quick. And to do an empty tuple, so we're going to make an empty tuple, and you just use parentheses like that to actually put a tuple with values in it. So I'm going to create a uh, tuple one, and I'll make this a little bit bigger for you guys. There we go. Um, to create a tuple with a value in it, you just go ahead and put a value in it. So you have one value in the tuple. To create a value with two variables in it, or Python objects, you put a comma in between. and you can create uh, tuples with multiple different types of Python objects, things like strings and numbers in the same one. So we'll create a third one here. And right here you can see we can put a one, a two, I can put my name, and we can put Python. So, and you can mix as many and mix and match as much as you want. The only difference here is that you actually can't change, add, or remove anything from the tuple, unlike you could from a list. While lists you could pop things and remove them and add new things and all that. You can't do that here. But what you can do is you can actually grab values out of a tuple just like you do a list. So if we're going to print, I want to print my name. Again, remember the, the first index here is index 0, so my name is 0, 1, 2. You can see right here, uh, if I want to grab my name, I just put 2 in there. And we'll go ahead and print this out. So I'll click on the debugger tab. Uh, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller here. And we'll click on play and run. And you can see that here, type object is not scriptable. So what does that mean? Oh, all right. I see what I did wrong here. All right. So you can see right here, I put, I put this is actually the object's name, um, but what I want to grab is the variable's name. So we'll go ahead and put three. And now let's try it again. Look at this, messing up. And boom, you can see it printed out my name. So you see right there, if you, if you don't put the right variable names, you're going to get some errors. So be careful of that. All right. So the next thing up is you can slice just like you can slice a list. So how we sliced before is we would put the one that we wanted to start with, and then we put the one that we want to end with. Remember, it's a it stops at the end. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's say we only wanted to print to 3. You would actually put 4 because it stops at 4. And if you print it out here, you can see here 0, 1, 2, 3. And we got these three out here. So you can slice just like you can slice a list. Now, you can't actually uh, edit tuples or change tuples as far as like removing them, but you can. what you can do is create new tuples using existing ones. So let's say I wanted to remove this 1.5. Well, to do that, I could create a fourth tuple here, and I could just say tuple 3, and then say um, 0 and 4, right? And what that's going to do if I print out tuple 4, um, it should print out basically 1, 3, Chris, and Python. So again, we got that same result. It's a new variable. So you can see how I actually removed a value from tuple 3, but I didn't actually change it. I didn't actually change tuple 3. I just created a fourth tuple. Now, there is some there's some basic expressions that you can do. You can actually add tuples together. So let's add the first one and the second one together. So I'm going to create a fifth tuple here. Plus two, um, so we're going to say this is equal to tuple 1 plus tuple 2. Now, you would think that that might add numbers together or anything, but nope, it's going to uh, actually just add the tuples together and create one, um, one full tuple. And, oh, did I do this wrong? Int and tuple. Um, I think it's seeing that as an integer. Yeah, let's try adding a number to that, see if that's seeing it as an integer. 
Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that because there was only one value in here, it was actually just pulling that value instead of pulling it as a tuple. Uh, we'll go into... I'll try to figure that out and come up with another video why it did that, but uh, I guess, you know, if you only have one number in your tuple, just leave it as an integer and don't try adding it. So what we can do down here... Oh, I'm sorry. If you want to create... If you want to create an... There we go. If you want to... I have to remember. If you want to create a tuple with one value, you got to put a comma in there. Let's see if that works. Yeah, there you go. That's the problem. You want to put that comma in there just to let it know it's a tuple, because if not, those parentheses just treat it as an integer. All right, so there's some basic tuple operations, things like plus and multiplication. I'll go ahead and show you those. I'm going to comment out these so we don't have that coming up every time. So we still have these tuples up here. I'll just space that down. So what we want to do is we want to uh, get the length, or basically how many items are in this tuple 3. So again, you can just do print, length, and then put tuple 3 in there. And that should give us how many items are in tuple 3. 5. See that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. You can also, uh, we already did concatenation, so like adding tuples together. You can also create a tuple using repetition. So what we can do is we're going to create a tuple 4 right here. And we're going to create the tuple, and let's just put my name in here. Right? So a tuple with one value, but then we can actually multiply it by 4. Well, we can multiply it by any number, but I'm going to multiply it by 4. And once we do that, and we print that out, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, tuple 4. Well, what's going to happen is it's going to take that single tuple, and it's going to multiply the values by 4. So 1 times 4 is 4, so you should have 4 values exactly the same. So that's how you create a kind of sequence or a bigger tuple without having to type it out. We can also check if a value is inside of a tuple. So we can print, and what you do that is you just say, um, let's check if the word um, Python, if I spell that right, if the word Python is inside tuple 3. So we say Python uh, in tuple 3, right? So if we do that, and click play, it says true. If we were to misspell this, perhaps, and we click play, boom, it says false. Now let's see if it's actually case sensitive, which is very important if you're working with text. You want to make sure that if you're case sensitive or not. And boom, it is case sensitive. So you're going to have to pay attention to that and make sure that you are checking either both cases or you're on the fly converting it to lowercase or uppercase. And we'll go into that at a later time. Uh, you can also iterate. We're going to go into iteration later. But now we're going to move on to um, some of the built-in tuple functions within Python that they offer you. Things like comparing tuples. So you can compare two, uh, elements in two different tuples. So we're going to print out the and you do uh, CMP and you do tuple two and tuple three. We're going to compare these. Let's see what it, let's see what it pops out with here. Um, not doing that right. CMP. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm doing that right. Hmm. Let's uh, let's pull up the browser and see if we can. Here we go. Compare tuple. Python. Pretty sure I had that right. All right. Let's see. My favorite website, Stack Overflow. Um, so they're using they're using less than equals. Let's see. Tuples are compared by position by position. Okay, so they're using less than and equals. Uh, we can try that. I don't think that's going to work, but let's go ahead and try it out. Yeah, yeah. So it's oh, it's be oh, it's because they have it's trying to compare two different ones with different values in it. So you, I, I'm assuming here that you can't compare things with strings and integers together. So that's fine. But we can do. We write in length. We can figure out what the max element is. So we'll do print max tuple two. So this should print out four if it's done it right. You can see that. Now let's add another one here. And let's add three there at the end. And boom, what does it print out? Four. So you can see again, it isn't the max or the end of the tuple. It's actually the max or of the actual values. And again, you can also do that with the min. So you can do print min tuple two. And it should, we should get one here. One, good. All right. Now you can also take a list and convert it into a tuple. So if we have a list here, so it's called a um, list one, and let's just print this. Oh, let's do Chris and do a Python, All right? 
and um, do one, two, three, four. You know, just add some numbers. That's fine. And we're going to print out list one. Forgot the old parentheses there. And then we're going to convert this to a tuple. So we're going to say tuple uh, list. And then we, what, you wanna, what you want to do is you want to type in tuple and then just add it in that list. And then we can print a tuple list. All right, so if we, if we run this down here, you, they look exactly the same, right? So you have all the same values, but the, the main difference here is that there's square brackets and parentheses. Again, the parentheses mean that it's a tuple, the square brackets mean that it's a list. Now, that's crazy, like, why would you ever wanna use, why would you ever wanna use the tuple over the list, right? Why would you ever feel inclined to say, why, why, would, I, why would I use something that I can't change? Well. Let's go into why tuples are better than lists and maybe why lists are better than tuples. See, tuples are faster than lists. So when we're doing computations or we're doing sequencing, because you can't change it and it's a finite resource, it's a lot faster to dig through it because Python already knows how much memory is allocated for it and it knows how many times it's going to have to iterate through it. And it's also much safer code. So while in a list, it can be changed and manipulated. If you're using something that doesn't need to be changed, like a, a, a set number list, like maybe prices of something or, or you know, anything that you're, you're writing, you don't have to worry about it being changed or altered while you're programming. So that's, list, that's, that's tuples, everybody. Uh, if you have any questions, throw it down in the comments below. Again, I'm going to post this video on YouTube. I'm also going to link it to my blog, and I'm going to put a text version so at any time you guys can have a quick reference that you don't need to watch the video. You can check that out at blog.chrisstate.com. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.